Hello everyone, welcome back to Shaw Code. In this video, we're going to be adding enemies to our game in Pygame. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is in our main init method in the game class, we're just going to want to import the sprite sheet for the enemies. So in the img folder, we have this enemy.png. It contains the images for the enemy class. Um, so we just need to import that. So it'll be, let's just call it self.enemy underscore sprite sheet equals sprite sheet and it's going to be in img slash enemy.png I think it's enemy.png yeah enemy.png okay now that we've got that brought in now let's start working on the enemy class so class enemy and it's going to be a pygame sprite and we're going to need an init method and we'll just do self we'll need to pass in game x and y uh, and then we'll just do self.game equals game. And then we'll need to set the layer. So we'll do self.layer. Sorry, self.underscore layer equals enemy underscore layer. Now we haven't got that defined. So in config.py, uh, we can just do um, enemy layer equals three. And we'll set the player layer to four. So the enemies will be below the player, but above the blocks and the ground. And then we'll set the groups, so self.groups equals uh, self.game.all underscore sprites and self.game.enemies. So self.game.enemies, if you remember, we created this in the first episode. It's just another sprite group and we'll be using it when we want to do collisions and stuff. Then we'll call the init method for the pygame sprite. So we'll do pygame.sprite.sprite.underscore init. And it'll be self and we need to pass in self.groups as well. Uh, now that we've done that, we'll need to set x and y width and height and stuff like that. So x, self to x equals x times tile size. Remember the tile size is 32 pixels. Uh, self dot y equals y times tile size. Uh, self dot width equals tile size as well. And self dot height equals tile size. Okay, and then we're also going to need an x change and y change variable for when we're doing the movement. So we'll just do it now. So self.x underscore change equals zero, self.y change equals zero as well. And now we'll set the image. So self.image equals self.game.enemy underscore sprite sheet dot get underscore sprite. So we're going to pull an image from the sprite sheet and it's going to be at position it's going to be at x position 3, y position 2, and it'll be self.width and self.height. And then we'll do self.image.set underscore color key, and we'll set it to black. Uh, by setting the color key to black, we're basically just going to remove the black background from the image, um, so we'll get a transparent background. Now we need to set the rex, which is in any Pygame sprite, so we'll do self.rex equals self.image.get rex. Uh, self.rect.x equals self.x and self.rect.y equals self.y and that should be it for the init method. Uh, now let's do an update method. So this will be called when all the sprites are updated and it's going to need self. If I could spell self properly that would be nice. So what we'll probably just want to do here is do like self.x plus equals self.x change and self.y plus equals self.y change. Oh, this should be self.rect.x, and this should be self.rect.y. Uh, and then we'll want to set the x change and y change to zero again. Okay, uh, now we want to do the movement, and we also want to do the animations for the enemy. But first, I'm just going to add in uh, into the tile map uh, e and e. And E is just going to represent the enemy on our tile map. And then up in the create tile map, we'll do if column equals E, we can create an enemy. And we'll need to pass in self and J and I. Uh, now, if we run it, we can see we get two enemies. They don't do anything at the moment. They're just sort of sud there. Uh, now we'll want to add in some movement to the enemies. So if we come here and do define movement, and it's going to need self. And before we do that, we're going to set some more variables up in the init method. 
what we'll do is self dot facing equals random dot choice. We'll do random dot choice on a list, and it's either go we're either going to be facing left or right. So we it's just going to be random whether we're fa whether the enemies are going to be facing left or facing right. And we'll do self dot animation loop. Animation loop can just be set to one. Uh, self dot movement loop. It's going to be set to zero. For the movement, what it's going to be is we're going to be, the enemy is just going to be moving like back and forth across the screen. And then we'll also need a maximum travel. Uh, and it can be random.randint. Let's do it, I don't know, 7 and 30. The enemy is going to be moving back and forth between 7 and 30 pixels. Um, and that's just a random choice. So now that we've got those variables, we'll come back into the movement method. And if we're facing left, so if self.facing equals left, uh, self.x change, uh, minus equals, let's do it minus enemy speed. And enemy speed, we don't have it defined yet, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, here we can just do enemy speed. Uh, how fast do we want the enemies to be moving? Uh, I don't know, let's just say, let's say uh, two, I guess. Uh, we might want to adjust that later. And then we'll do self.movement loop minus equals one. If self.movement loop is less than self.max travel, uh, we'll set the self.facing to right. So basically what this does is every every frame we're going to be taking taking away from the X change our speed. Um, and we're going to be subtracting from the movement loop. And if our movement loop is ever below the minus value of self.max travel, uh, we're going to be uh, changing our facing to right. So we're moving left, then once we once we travel a certain distance, we're going to turn around and face right. And now let's do the same thing for if we're facing right. So if self.facing equals right, uh, self dot x change plus equals enemy speed self dot movement loop plus equals one and if the movement loop if it's greater than or equal to self dot max travel then we'll want to turn around and start facing left okay that should be it for the movement now in the update method we can just call self dot movement so if we run this now we can see that our enemies are actually moving from left to right. Now let's add in the animations. Define animate. And it will need self. Now what I'm going to do is, because it's effectively the same code as our player, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up into our player animation, and I'm going to just copy and paste all of this code, because it's quite long, and it's a lot faster if we just copy and paste it here. But what we'll want to do, instead of using character sprite sheet, we'll want to just use enemy sprite sheet. And I'm going to do this for every value here. Uh, I'll get back to you once I've done this. But yeah, change this from character sprite sheet to enemy sprite sheet. So now you can see I've changed all the uh, character sprite sheets to enemy sprite sheets. Funnily enough, we won't actually need these up animations and down animations because the enemies will only be moving left and right. Uh, so I'll just get rid of these, and we won't need self.facing equals down or self.facing equals up either. So this will just trim our code down a little bit. Because we're only moving left and right, we only need the left and right animations. So run it now, and we aren't getting the animations. And that is because I forgot to call in the update method self.animate. Now run it. We can see we get our enemies, and they're animated. Now currently, if we run into the enemies, nothing happens. And now, let's add in some collisions between the player and the enemy. Uh, so if we come up into the player class, and let's just create a new method, and let's call it define collide enemy. And it's going to need self. And we'll do hits equals pygame dot, pygame dot sprite dot sprite collide. We're going to be comparing between the character, which is self, and the enemy sprite group. So we'll do self.game.enemies. And the final parameter is whether we want to destroy the enemies on collision, which we don't, so we'll set that to false. And if hits, so if we collide with any of the enemies, then we can do self.kill. Self.kill will just remove a player from the uh, all sprites group, uh, so it won't show up on the screen anymore. 
And we can also do self.game.playing equals false. So that'll just exit out of the game. So if we run it now, we can see we get our enemies, and when we walk into them, nothing happens. And that is because I once again forgot to call the collide enemy. So up here, underneath animate, we can just do self.collide enemy. Uh, and now if we run it, we have an error. I have spelled enemies wrong. Self.game to enemies. There we go, enemies. And if we run it now, we got our enemies and we walk into the enemy, then the game closes. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will get back to you. If you'd like to find out what the best IDEs and text editors for Python are, then you can click on this video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.